In this part of the training module, we look at an example of yield forecast. The example is worked out for the Terai region in Nepal in which maize is cultivated. As a representative region, Shitwan was selected. In the Terai, people they grow rice during the monsoon season in which 80% of the rainfall occurs. The monsoon runs from June till September. After rice, wheat is planted and it can survive on the water remaining in the root zone and on some extra rains. Maize is planted at the beginning of the rainy season with the early rains before the rice crop. The production is rather low as a result of rain-fed agriculture and also due to soil fertility stress in farmers' fields. The example is worked out for the maize crop. Here we see historical rainfall, the total number of rainy days and the total rainfall. In the last decade, there was much more uncertainty resulting in strong variations of the yield, as such the importance for yield forecasting. The first step was to fine-tune the maize crop file to the local conditions. That was done with two years of field experimental data. Various applications of fertilizers and irrigation were considered. Aquacrop was able to simulate well the observed yield, and this for ranges going only of half a ton up to three and a half ton. With this calibrated crop file, and by considering a representative soil profile, the local farm management, Aquacrop was run with 30 years of daily historical climatic data. At planting, yield forecast was made with the 30 years of historical climatic data. This results in a wide range of possible yields. As the season progress, the historical climatic data is now replaced with daily observed data and run with the 30 years of historical climatic data for the remaining part of the season. The range of yield forecasts becomes smaller and smaller as the season progresses. Here we see the result for maize which was early sown in 2010. The crop was planted on the 13th of February and reached maturity on the 18th of May. The observed yield was very low, 0.3 tons per hectare. By running aqua crop to forecast the yield, we observe that the predicted yield is relatively high at the moment of planting. When the season progress, the predictions are heading to the 0.3 tons and at mid-flower the yield forecast was already in the range of the observed yield. Here we see another example for a late sowing for the year 2011. The crop was planted on the 28th of March and maturity was reached on the 1st of July. The observed yield was much more higher, 2.8 tons. At the moment of planting, already the yield forecast is within the range. As the season progresses, the forecast becomes closer and closer to the observed data. And at flowering, we are already within the standard deviation of the observed yield.